What's up you guys, it's Maeva and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you how to make a perfect chocolate molten lava cake. The ingredients that you will need are a box of chocolate cake mix and some unnamed chocolate syrup or chocolate ganache. So without further ado, let's get started. Since I'll be using a box cake, I will just follow the instructions on the back of the box but if you want to, you can use your favorite chocolate cake recipe instead of using a box cake. So now that my batter is basically done, I'm going to scoop it into the tins and bake it at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean or a dry piece of spaghetti inserted into the center and it comes out clean. While your cakes are baking, if you are going to serve your molten lava cakes with chocolate ganache, make sure to start making yourself some chocolate ganache. My recipe will be down in the description box down below. But keep in mind, ganache has a tendency of setting very very quickly, so you will want to serve your chocolate molten lava cakes as soon as possible. Better yet, just make them table side. Now that my cakes are fresh out of the oven, I'm going to wait for a minute or two just so they don't burn me immediately. And if the top looks a bit wonky, it's fine. It'll become the bottom. It'll all make sense in a couple of short seconds. Once you've inverted your cakes out, be very careful. The cake is still very, very hot and you don't want to touch it for a prolonged amount of time. What you want to do is take a small paring knife and go in on an ankle and cut out the center part of the cake. Uh, you're going in on a cone-like shape just to core that part out. And be very careful, you are using a knife. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom and puncture the other side. You just want it to be like a cone shape, like this, kind of like a valley. Now we're going to fill that middle with your chocolate sauce or your chocolate ganache. Make sure if you are using ganache to heat it up slightly so that it is quite runny. If you are using chocolate syrup, you don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to put our serving platter on top of our cake, do a quick little flippy flip and there we have it. Now we're going to just clean up around the edges, add our garnish and we're almost ready to serve. In case you're wondering about the squiggly thingies on top, it's due to the cocoa powder that I put at the bottom of my cupcake tin to make sure it doesn't stick. You can garnish your chocolate molten lava cake however your heart desires. Today we're dusting it with some powdered sugar and some slivered almonds. You can garnish your chocolate molten lava cake by using a sprig of mint, fan of strawberry, powdered sugar, almonds, ice cream, caramel drizzle, anything your heart desires. Now let's cut into it. As you can see, the sauce is pouring out the middle beautifully. Keep in mind the viscosity of your sauce will determine the fluidity. In other words, the thinner the sauce, the faster it's going to pour out as opposed to a thicker sauce which will give a more lava-like texture as it flows out softly and slowly. So now I'm going to continue decorating the rest of my molten chocolate lava cakes. If you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I post. Back to the video.
So that's pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while at it, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So this is pretty much it. I really hope you guys try this at home. If you do, leave a comment down below stating how it went. And if you have any future suggestions of any new videos I should do, leave that down in the comment section below. That'll be it for this week. I'll see y'all next week. Bonne nuit, bye.